have you ever had a bad week or a bad month and you really couldn't figure out what's going on? Maybe your car broke down, um, the paper got jammed in the, the printer, uh, your computer decided to stop working. Um, lots of things mechanically going wrong, communication issues going on in your relationship and with the people you work with and your family. Hi, I'm Lorraine Scott. I'm a practitioner of holistic services and I'm an EFT practitioner as well, which is emotional freedom technique. I'm an energy healer. So energy, um, we can be very sensitive to it. It can be an emotional sensitivity or it can just be, we just have an off feeling or we, we have a feeling of some sort. What often happens is during Mercury retrograde, You've probably heard of it. If you haven't, read my blog about it and it'll give you a little bit of information about what's going on with energy in Mercury retrograde. Um, we can't do anything about how this energy comes about, but there are some tips you can use to help kind of downplay the effect that Mercury retrograde has. Often with energy healers, we understand that things go a little awry and even when they do, we still have we still have to go through it. It's not just because we're energy practitioners or healers that we're immune to this stuff going on. No, it happens to all of us. If anything, we're more sensitive to it. So even if you're not an energy healer, you probably feel the effects of mercury retrograde more than you probably know. So what I'm here to talk to you about right now, actually walk you through it, is a tapping uh, session on Mercury retrograde and, and our, the effect it has on us. So if you'll just bear with me, this isn't gonna be a tutorial on how and why to tap. I'm just gonna jump right into a session and please tap along with me. So the first thing we wanna do is do a setup statement and this, who knows what's going on as I'm videoing this, I don't know what effect Mercury retrograde is necessarily having with you. So by all means, always use your own words and your dialogue and your emotions. Um, and just what I'm doing is just a guideline to kind of walk you through it. So we're gonna talk, chop, <laughs> we're, see, Mercury at retrograde already. We're going to tap on the karate chop point, which is at the side of the hand. And we're going to tap on that lightly. It doesn't have to be do it, do it very hard. And we're just going to get into how we're feeling right now. What's going on? What the frustration is? Just bring that up energetically in your body. And you can repeat the statement after me. Again, use your own languaging. Even though I'm feeling very frustrated as Mercury is in retrograde right now and all sorts of weird things are happening. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyways. Even though Mercury retrograde is wreaking havoc with my emotions and all of the mechanical things that are going wrong in my life, I deeply and completely accept what's happening anyways. Even though Mercury retrograde is wreaking havoc in my life, it's making me frustrated I'm having issues with communicating with people and stuff is just not working right. I deeply and completely accept these circumstances regardless. So tap along with me in the inner eyebrow. This stress I'm feeling. Side of the eye. This frustration. Under the eye, I can't seem to do anything right. On the collarbone, 
Mercury retrograde got me again. Eyebrow. Even though I'm so frustrated, side of the eye, and I can't seem to say or do anything right, under the eye, I'm going to be okay and get through this. And it is still frustrating. And I'm going to go a little quicker here, just follow along. And it's okay, I'm frustrated. I know it's just Mercury retrograde. A sensitivity of my energy. Feeling more emotional. Feeling frustration. This always seems to happen every couple of months. I started something new and now I can't fix it. This frustration. I'm so overwhelmed. Nothing's going right. Things are breaking down for no reason. These feelings of frustration, this anxiety, this anger, the unknown of why this is happening. Why does this have to happen to me? Why me? I don't understand. I think I'm going to be okay, but I just can't see it right now. And it's okay. As I tap, I'm actually beginning to feel a little less stressed. My physical body has relaxed. I'm working through this. And I know that any time I can do this tapping procedure and I can just feel the frustrations I'm having and feel the anger I have and any other emotion I might not be able to think of right now that's causing stress in my body and in my spirit. I can tap away at it chipping away at what isn't serving me because I got this. I have a tool I can use now whenever I want. Even if it only releases it a little bit, that's enough to let my body and spirit know that I can have a bit of control in how I respond instead of react to every little thing that happens because this is my time to release it. Okay, take a deep breath and grab your wrist, exhale and say peace. And even as you say peace, your body starts to feel it. Your emotions start to feel more peaceful. If you need to do a few more rounds of tapping to really hone in on specifics, please do so. It's tough to do in a video that's generalized for everybody, but I hope this has helped you to realize that you are empowered to help yourself to release things that don't serve you. Feel it fully, you can release it completely. So now just close your eyes for a moment and imagine how you want to feel. Bring in a positive aspect. Visualize something that's appealing to you, that makes you happy, relaxed, joyful, and bring that into your energy now. 
And once you have that visual, feel it in your body of how it feels to be peaceful, in control of whatever it is you're able to control. And take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, open your eyes. I hope this serves you. And if you have any questions or comments, please reply below the video in this blog. And I would love to help you out and give you some support. If you've had some aha moments or want to celebrate where you've been and where you are now, I would really love to hear about it. So please let me know. Thank you. Namaste.